Hello everyone, my name is Astha. I welcome you all to our classes for International English Olympiad for class 8th. This is our 10th class wherein we will be doing the topic of adverbs. Adverbs, uh, for adverbs we will be understanding the various types. We will be doing the, uh, the examples also and then the sample questions also. So let's get started. The first question that comes to our mind is what exactly are adverbs? किसी भी टॉपिक को करने से पहले उसका मीनिंग समझ लेना बहुत इंपॉर्टेंट है और जैसे कि हम करते आए हैं हम इसके थोड़े से एग्जांपल्स लेंगे और उस इन, और उन एग्जांपल्स में से ही हम इसका मीनिंग डिराइव करेंगे और राइट एग्जांपल्स हम इसलिए लेते हैं ताकि एग्जांपल से आसानी से समझ आ पाए आपको या अगर मैं आपको सिर्फ मीनिंग बता दूंगी तो आपको मीनिंग तो याद करना नहीं है क्योंकि है उसमें ये तो नहीं आएगा ना कि वॉट आर एडवर्ब्स उसमें ये आएगा कि जैसे चूज द एडवर्ब या फिर इसमें से आप करेक्ट एडवर्ब ऑप्शन में से चूज करिए एडवर्ब्स के प्रैक्टिकल क्वेश्चन आएंगे ये तो नहीं पूछेगा आपसे कोई कि, कि क्या है होते हैं एडवर्ब्स बट आपको उसके सॉल्व का आपको उसके क्वेश्चन का आंसर देने के लिए आपको पता होना चाहिए कि एडवर्ब्स होते क्या हैं तो इसीलिए हम ये भी समझेंगे कि एडवर्ब्स क्या होते हैं बट थ्रू आर एग्जाम्पल्स सो लेट स्टार्ट नाइट सी देर आर देर क्वेश्चन इज अंटेंस ओवर हियर इस सेंटेंस को हम पढ़ें तो इट सेज शी लुक्ड एट हर गिफ्ट है अपने गिफ्ट को कैसे देख रही थी द गर्ल गॉट अ गिफ्ट एंड शी वॉज लुकिंग एट अ गिफ्ट हैप्पीली हाउ वॉज शी लुकिंग एट द गिफ्ट हैप्पीली शी वॉज हैप्पी टू सी द गिफ्ट हाउ डू शी फील शी वॉज हैप्पी एंड शी वॉज लुकिंग एट द गिफ्ट हैप्पीली ऑल राइट रिमेंबर दिस शी लुक एट अ गिफ्ट हैप्पीली कैसे देख रही थी हाउ वी आर आंसरिंग द क्वेश्चन हाउ हियर ओके Here, her father rarely surprised her like this. In this, in this sentence, which question is being answered? How often? Means how often did her father surprise her like this? Rarely. So what is the answer here? Rarely. What was the question? How often? The question being answered in the form of rarely. Saying rarely her father surprised her like this. And the question is there were bell here the sentences there were balloons everywhere okay so which question is this sentence answering now where where were the balloons balloons were everywhere so the first one answered how the second one answered how often the third one has answering third one is answering where now next this question this sentence is her father got her a gift today so this sentence is answering the question when you see her father got her a gift today when did he get her a gift today the question being answered is today the fourth point is where sorry when and father got her a gift today so there are different kinds of questions being answered in each sentence now here you see she was completely surprised by the gift here the question being answered is the fifth question which is to what extent matlab wo kis limit tak kis had tak surprise thi she was completely wo ekdam sabse zyada she was completely surprised by the gift all right so completely to what extent completely okay now from all this let's understand what adverbs are 
एडवर्ब्स जो होते हैं दे डिस्क्राइब अ वर्ब एडजेक्टिव और अनदर एडवर्ब एंड आंसर दीज फाइव क्वेश्चन द क्वेश्चन जिनके हमने एग्जाम्पल्स लिए थे हाउ हाउ ऑफन टू वट एक्सटेंट वेन एंड वेर सो दीज क्वेश्चन आर आंसर्ड बाय दी वर्ड्स कॉल्ड एडवर्ब्स एंड वट डू दे डिस्क्राइब दे डिस्क्राइब एनी वर्ब और एडजेक्टिव और अनदर एडवर्ब इसको हम बेटर अंडरस्टैंड करेंगे नेक्स्ट स्लाइड पे तो अब हम सारे एग्जाम्पल्स लेंगे और समझेंगे तो आपको बेटर समझ आएगा द फर्स्ट सेंटेंस वॉज शी लुक डैट हर गिफ्ट शी लुक डैट हर गिफ्ट हैपीली देन द नेक्स्ट वन सेट हर फादर रेयरली सरप्राइज हर लाइक दिस थर्ड वन वॉज There were balloons everywhere. Then, her father got her a gift today. The last one said she was completely surprised by the gift. Now, you see the first question. First question, the first sentence is answering the question how, and. आप आइडेंटिफाई करो कि इसमें से कौन सा वर्ड है जो ये क्वेश्चन आंसर कर रहा है हैप्पीली सो वॉट इज द एडवर्ब हैप्पीली एडवर्ब की हमने डेफिनेशन क्या पढ़ी है एडवर्ब आर द वर्ड्स विच डिस्क्राइब अ वर्ब एडजेक्टिव अनदर एडवर्ब एंड आंसर द क्वेश्चन ऑफ आंसर एनी ऑफ दीज क्वेश्चन हाउ to what extent etc so is me kaun sa word answer kar raha hai question happily and happily kya describe kar raha hai happily is describing the girl because she was looking at the gift happily okay now next the second sentence her father rarely surprised her like this here the question being answered is how often how often is being answered by which word rarely okay so it is the adverb because adverbs we know that they answer any of these following questions of how how often when where etc okay the third question the third question the third question is where so in the third sentence where ka jawab kaun sa word de raha hai everywhere where were the balloons the balloons were everywhere okay so the adverb here is everywhere the next the next question being answered is of when now when her father got her a gift today when did her father get her a gift today all right so the adverb here is today because adverbs kya hote hain to describe karte hain kisi noun adverb ya adjective ko and answer karte hain questions so yahan pe answer kiya hai when me all right now the last one the last question being answered is to what extent to what extent was the girl surprised she was completely surprised she was completely surprised by the gift okay so these are the five adverbs these are the five questions jo adverbs answer karte hain how how ka hame mila hai happily se how was the girl looking at the gift happily How often did her father surprise her like this? He sub rarely surprised her like this. And where did uh, where were the balloons? They were everywhere. When did the father get get her a gift? Today. And to what extent was she surprised? 
she was completely surprised okay so these are the five examples of adverbs now we will see each category of adverbs and understand through examples let's start so the first type of adverbs that we are going to do are the ones that answer the questions of when these are the adverbs which tell us about when okay so we will see a few examples like after already before early now these are the few examples we will see them in sentences okay in sentences she will visit the hospital tomorrow so which which question is being answered here when when will she visit the hospital tomorrow and which word is answering the question tomorrow so tomorrow becomes the adverb next the results were announced yesterday now when is being answered by which word yesterday so adverb here is what yesterday okay so the first category of question first category of questions being answered these are the other adverbs which we can use while answering the questions of when now next category so the next category of adverbs are the ones which answer the questions of where let's see a few examples the adverbs are away everywhere here there inside these are only a few examples now the examples in sentences they will meet you there so the question so which which word is answering the question of where there where will they meet you they will meet you there then where do flowers bloom in spring the second sentence the adverb answering the question is everywhere all right so the second category is where now next the third category of adverbs are the ones which answer the questions of how how something is done how did that happen etc so the adverbs which answer the question of how could be easily happily loudly quickly quietly all right and now these is one of the sentence examples of this adverbs how do we use them in sentences he slipped away how did he slip away he quietly slipped away so the word answering the question of how is quietly so the adverb is quietly here another how does she write how does she work she works fast so the word which is answering the question of how is fast okay this was the third category now now another category is the adverbs answering the questions of to what extent to what extent matlab kis limit tak kis extent tak kis had tak enough extremely quiet to very these are a few adverbs which answer the questions of to what extent now if we use them in sentences she almost finished the work to what extent has she finished the work she has almost finished the work so which word is answering the question of to what extent almost so almost becomes the adverb 
then they were completely surprised by the windfall to what extent were they surprised by the windfall completely so the word which answers the question of to what extent is completely so these are this is the fourth category now next This is the fifth category of adverbs telling us how often does something happen frequency you see here um okay so now this is the chart that i have made for so that you can understand how often this for the how often adverbs chart these are all adverbs All of these. पर एक timeline बना दी है एक वो बना दी है जिससे अगर how often, if there is something that happens never, which means जो zero percent, जो कभी भी नहीं होता, then that is never. Something that is that happens about five percent of the time, मतलब बहुत ही rare chances हैं उसका होने के, तो hardly ever. Ten percent मतलब सेल्डम थोड़ा बहुत हो जाता है ओकेजनली देन अगर फिफ्टी परसेंट टाइम्स होता है फिफ्टी परसेंट टाइम्स नहीं होता है तो समटाइम्स फिर फिफ्टी परसेंट से ज्यादा बार होता है अगर तो ऑफन ये मतलब ज्यादातर यही होता है एंड नॉर्मली नॉर्मली एट्टी परसेंट टाइम्स जब से यही चीज होती है तो हम उसे नॉर्मल सिचुएशन कहते हैं कि नॉर्मली दिस हैपन्स एंड नाइन्टी परसेंट जब मोस्ट ऑफ द टाइम्स मतलब कुछ हो रहा है तो यूजली एंड इफ समथिंग हैपन्स हंड्रेड परसेंट ऑफ द टाइम्स इन दैट इज ऑलवेज ओके सो दिस इज दी एडवर्ब चार्ट यू कैन यूज अब आप एडवर्ब से आपको एक और एडवांटेज मिल गई नाउ यू नो द डिफरेंट काइंड ऑफ एडवर्ब सो दैट यू कैन यूज दैम आप इनको अब यूज कर सकते हैं Uh, जब आपको बताना है कि कितने ऑफन कुछ चीज होती है जैसे आपको पता है ऑफन कब यूज करना है एंड सेल्डम कब यूज करना है समटाइम्स कब यूज करना है ओके सो यू शुड एड दिस टू योर वोकेबलरी नाउ वी विल सी द एग्जांपल्स। आई ऑलवेज वेक अप एट सिक्स ओ क्लॉक ऑलवेज वेक अप एट सिक्स ओ क्लॉक मीन्स आई वेक अप एट सिक्स ओ क्लॉक हंड्रेड ऑफ द टाइम्स मतलब मैं रोज सुबह सिक्स ओ क्लॉक उठती हूँ then i think there is a mistake here this is <clears throat> this is a but this should be an o i'm sorry for the spelling error then i usually come home from work usually usually matlab 90% of the time usually i come home from work maybe rare chances may like 5 10% of the times uh work ke baad kahin aur chale gaye but 90% of the time come home from work i usually come home from work so kaun sa verb words hain jo answer kar rahe hain questions of how often always and usually so ye hain hamare adverbs okay so now let's move on this was the fifth category we have done five categories all right so summarizing all the adverbs that we have done until now uh, the adverbs which answer the question of when are called adverbs of time the ones which answer the question of how are called the adverbs of manner the ones which answer the question of where are the adverbs of place the adverbs which answer the question of how often something happens or happened they are called the adverbs of frequency and the adverbs which answer the question of to what extent something happened or happens uh, they are called the adverbs of degree all right okay now there are these two broad categories uh, two more broad categories one is the adverb of evaluation they help in evaluating something in the sense uh, like uh, to an example if i tell you hopefully honestly clearly apparently etc so if we um these kind of adverbs 
they help in sort of evaluating the situation and giving an opinion okay so here frankly frankly is uh, you know an uh, frank evaluation and uh, the opinion is a frank opinion so frankly i don't think this plan will work all right so this is an adverb of evaluation another one we have is conjunctive adverbs conjunctive adverbs what do they do they uh, act as a sort of conjunctions in the sense they help in joining two sentences like accordingly namely additionally further hence okay these are conjunctive adverbs like an example we have here furthermore i would like to stress on the importance of renewable energy so furthermore is sort of acting like a conjunction here accordingly namely additionally these are the conjunctive adverbs all right and there are of course more so there there are these two more categories one is these conjunctive adverbs and the other was the adverbs of evaluation in addition to the uh, five we've already done okay all right so for the quiz what we will be doing is now every question you will be given 1 minute 1 minute means 60 seconds why am i giving you 1 minute because you see your question paper of ieo it has about uh, 50 questions and so you can uh, imagine that you know you get more or less a minute to answer the questions now this 1 minute is the maximum that you should be taking for answering the question now suppose there could be two three two three categories of students first category is suppose you answer the question within that 1 minute so i would request you to fast forward the video and uh, uh skip right to the answer you should not be wasting your time all right now the other students who are not able to answer the question in 1 minute what you do you don't skip to the answer you pause the video and you write down your answer all right it is very important to answer each and every question because there is no negative marking here you see for every incorrect answer no points because there is no negative marking in ieo so it is important that you attempt all the questions now for a question of which you are not sure about the answer now even here and even in the exam if you are not sure about the answer and you may be think that b option is might be correct or c option might be correct so you should uh, in that case play your luck and play your mind and make a guess and still give an answer because it is a win win situation either you will get the marks for that question or you will get a zero right but if you don't attempt that question at all then you are anyway getting a zero in that right so it is good to attempt those questions and uh, even if you don't know all the answers try to understand and take a guess okay so this is for every correct answer 10 points this is just for your uh, for your own little game where you can try uh, to maintain a notepad so here you write the name of the chapter and then the question and then if it is correct you can give yourself 10 points if it is not correct you mark it here so it is important to mark to see these questions the ones which you mark incorrect it is important to go back to them later and then see where you did the mistake all right this is just for your reference for every correct answer you can give yourself 10 points all right now let's uh, start
All right, so we start off with the first uh, category of questions for adverbs. This one says, identify the adverbs in the following sentences from the given options. So you are given a sentence and from the sentence you are given four uh, words as options. You have to choose which one is an adverb, which one is doing the job of an adverb. So let's start. The first one says, Aryan drove fast and he lost his driving license. Okay, so here drove Aryan fast and license. Here the correct answer which means the adverb is C fast. It is fast, it is describing, answering the question of how something happened. It is the adverb of manner. Alright. Then the others you see drove is oh, the verb. Aryan is subject now and license is again a noun. Alright, now we see the next one says, he speaks quite good English, he can, he can be of great help to you. The options are he help quite English. Okay, so here which of the words is following the answer of answering the question of uh, like how, what, how, when, in what manner is any of the word answering the question? It's C, quite. It is answering the question of to what extent. So to what extent is he good in English? He speaks quite good English. Alright, so the other words you see, he is the subject here. Help, a, her, he can be of great help to you. Here help is a noun, the abstract noun help uh, over here. Then English, English is also a noun over here, proper noun, English. Okay, so here you see the next sentence says, I have never been to Maldives. I would like to go there. Here the options are would, never, have and Maldives. So here the correct answer is, which means the adverb is be never. Why never? Because it is answering the question of how often. If how often have you been to Maldives? Never. So adverb is one that answers one of these questions. Never is the adverb. The other options would here, I would like to go there. So, would is a modal auxiliary. It's a verb. Then, have. Have is another. Uh, have is also here. The is what? Is also an auxiliary verb over here. And Maldives is a noun. Proper noun. Because you have the capital letter, right?
Okay, next up we have replace the underlined adverbs in the following sentences with the synonyms. Okay, so what we have to do, we have the adverb which is underlining the sentence and we have to choose another adverb which means the same. Actually, they are synonyms. So, this will also sort of act as a revision for your synonyms. Let's see. She sang melodiously at the function. The adverb is melodiously. Options are terribly, merrily, sweetly or confidently. Okay, so here melodiously means something uh, for, for music, for singing, we say something that is, you know, full of all the tunes and it is great to listen to. That is melodiously. And melodiously is the adverb of what? Adverb of manner. Okay. Now here the correct answer, the verb which means the same, we can say is sweetly. Okay. In a sweet manner. So both of these, in fact, all of these are what? Adverbs of manner. Okay, next, the teacher taught us how to write neatly. The uh, word underlined here is neatly. Neatly is an adverb. The other ones, let's see, uh, vaguely, tightly, carefully or boldly. Now, the teacher taught us how to write carefully. Here, the closest synonym that comes here is uh, neatly. Sorry, carefully. Okay. Now, vaguely is like an, in an abstract manner, tightly and boldly. I'm pretty sure you know what they mean. And all of these are what? These are adverbs of manner. Answering the question of how. Okay, next up, the bride was enchantingly dressed, fascinatingly dressed, sleepily dressed, unceremoniously dressed, or dis or distastefully dressed. Dressed. The bride was enchantingly dressed. Enchantingly dressed means she was looking very beautiful, and her sight was enchanting. Okay, so here the correct answer is fascinatingly. Okay. That someone was enchanted by her dressing or by her dress. Someone was fascinated. Okay. Sleepily in a, in a sleepy manner is in a lazy manner. Unceremoniously or distastefully. These words mean something that is not done as per the equation. Okay. Inappropriate. And all of these are the adverbs of manner again. They answer the question of how.
Okay, here I am not wholly responsible for this. Here the adverb is wholly. The other the options are surely, fully, slowly, and merely. Here the correct answer is B, fully. Now wholly, fully. What are these adverbs? These are the adverbs answering the question of to what extent. To what extent? E x t e n t, which means uh, like we can ask ask the question here. To what extent is he responsible for this? Or right? So we'll say I'm not wholly responsible for this. I'm not fully responsible for this. It means completely, hundred percent. Okay. Then we have uh, other words like surely, slowly, merely. Um, surely, surely can also be uh, the adverb answering to the, the question of to what extent. Slowly is the adverb of manner answering the question of how. Merely also merely here can be the can be yes it can come into the category of to what extent. Okay. All right. So here in next category, what we have to do? Replace the underlined adverbs in the following sentences with their opposites. Now here we will have this small little quick revision of antonyms, the opposite words. Here he talked to me rudely. He talked to me rudely. Rudely. The options are bluntly, politely, hopefully, and loudly. Okay. The opposite of rudely is politely. Rudely is like not in a nice manner. And politely is being very soft and gentle. Bluntly can be a synonym of rudely, and then we have hopefully, loudly. These are actually what? These are the adverbs of manner answering the question of how. Okay. Okay, next up we have how can I put up with a person who always speaks foolishly? Okay, how can I put up with a person who always speaks foolishly? The adverb here is foolishly. The options are quickly, warmly, wisely, or mechan mechan mechanically. Mechanically, I'm sorry. So here, uh, foolishly, the antonym of foolishly is C wisely. All right. Foolishly, like uh, you know, not like not nicely in a sort of dumb manner. Wisely in an intelligent manner. Okay. The others quickly and warmly and me uh, mechanically. All these are again the adverbs of manner answering the question of how. All right.
Okay, here we have, he rarely helps the poor. The adverb here is rarely. Here, rarely. The options are casually, slowly, frequently or coldly. Now, rarely we have to choose the antonym, the word which means the opposite. Rarely means something that does not happen very often, that happens on less occasions. So the opposite would be something that happens often, something that happens on a lot of occasions. So the answer is C, frequently, something that happens a lot. All right. Now, ca uh, rarely, casually, oh, not casually actually, uh, he rarely and frequently, these can be the adverbs of what? Adverbs of uh, frequency, answering the question of how often something happens. Then we have casually, slowly, coldly, these the adverbs of manner, okay? Then we have the tainted politician was coldly received. Here the adverb is coldly. Coldly received, which means you know does did not uh, did not receive uh, enough love. You no know, people were not really happy with him. Tainted politician was coldly received. The options are duly, immediately, scornfully, or warmly. We have to choose the antonym. The antonym of coldly is warmly. It is warmly received. Matlab ye nahi hota hai ke, you know, bahut garmi thi ya bahut chant thi. When you give someone a warm welcome, when you give someone, you know, uh, what do we say? Your, you know, warm handshake. It means you are receiving them with a lot of love and, uh, you know, a welcoming heart. But when you receive someone coldly, or when you say na, we usually there's this proverb also, giving someone a cold shoulder or giving someone a cold handshake, it means, uh, you know, not really uh, interested in their presence and uh, not really being welcoming. Okay, so that's what coldly and warmly means here. Coldly here can be a synonym of scornfully. All right, these are what? Adverbs of manner. Okay, here what we have to do is, next category, fill in the blank with the most suitable adverbs of the bold or the bracketed words. Now here we have a sentence in which a word will either be bold or will be bracketed. So according to that, we have to choose the suitable adverb accordingly. Okay, Monica is very impatient. She is waiting for her friend Dash. Okay. Impatient is what? Impatient here is an adjective. We have to uh, form an adverb. 
and usually adverbs of manner are formed by adding an ly impatiently the word is impatient patient and impatiently the correct answer is c impatiently all right monica is very impatient she is waiting for her friend impatiently Okay, next he treats his pets dash a terrible b terribly c feel terrible. The correct answer is he treats his pets b terribly. All right, in a terrible manner. It's the adverb of uh, manner again. Okay, here she turned up for the picnic dash. The word is unexpected. The options are unexpected, unexpectedly, expected. Okay, the correct answer is B, unexpectedly, which is in an unexpected manner. So it is the adverb of manner answering the question of how. Okay, next he has to be given the medicines dash. Okay, uh, the word is are, the noun is are. So per hour, every hour, or hourly. The correct answer is C, hourly. Hourly means every hour. Okay. It is the adverb of frequency. How often does he have, does, uh, do we have to give him the medicine? He has to be given the medicines hourly, which means every hour. That's the adverb of frequency.
Okay, next. I cannot ask Simone to lend me money. I dash know her. I hard know her, fastly know her, hardly know her, forever know her. I cannot ask Simone to lend me money. I hardly know her. Which means to, this is answering the question of to what extent. I hardly know her. Which means know her very less. Okay, to a limited extent. Then the other words like here, hard is an adjective. And here we have fastly. Fastly is an adverb of manner. Then forever, forever actually is an adverb again, which you can say, which is something that is going to remain always. All right. Okay, here, have you dash thought of becoming a chef? Have you forever thought of, ever thought of, almost thought of, or quite thought of? Here the correct answer is, have you ever thought of becoming a chef? Okay, ever is the adverb of frequency. Has something ever happened to you? Which means how often has something happened to you? All right. Okay, next. Jatin can speak French dash well. Even well, yet well, rather well or little well. Now here we are talking about his, uh, what, we, what do we say, to what extent is this, uh, or what extent is his French good? Okay, the, uh, basically asking how good is this person Jatin's French? Okay. So, to what extent we are answering? Jatin can speak French rather well. Alright. So, with this we finish off with the questions on adverbs. That's all for our class on adverbs. I hope you have understood or you've had the basic idea what, what adverbs really are. When do we have to use which kind of adverb and all that. So, revise all these concepts. Keep learning and keep revising. I will see you the next time. Thank you for watching.